Hey everyone, we're gonna play a uh, team match here and uh, I'm playing with Paul Gibson, he's from Scotland uh, he's a kind of a reasonably common uh, forum poster and um, <coughs> we are we are the po post hoc uh, fallacy or post hoc ergo propter hoc this is Post hoc ergo proctor hoc, I think. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't speak Latin. But uh, we're still better than the circular uh, argument team. Obviously, nobody has any say in uh, the team names other than uh, me. So, so there. Um, I opened one club. Paul doubled um, with showing hearts, and uh, as you can see, uh, there was a small discussion and. Video of uh, Kuchongs, whether or not three hearts shows extras. Obviously, I don't believe so. So that's why uh, I bid three hearts, and we're playing uh, Polish leads, which means, for example, if uh, Paul leads a heart, odds are he has only four, so he would lead the lowest one. Um, Polish leads, otherwise upside down carding. So Polish leads means. Um, he always leads second or fourth. So from like let's say king third, you would lead uh, uh, the second one. Paul leads a spade, which probably means he has some honors everywhere, but there's no guarantee of any of that. We're probably out of trumps already, and uh, yeah, I need to play a low one. I uh, I guess this means declarer has a queen jack. Well, it's not like I guess Paul would have uh, played played the uh, won the queen from king queen, and now we have to figure out. So so declarer apparently is trying to uh, to get rid of the diamonds from dummy. So in that sense, probably I should have uh, taken the, the Ace of Hearts. Um, so we know the Declarer has five three, so five spades, three hearts. Okay, so I guess uh, it's just uh, the Queen of Diamonds was what uh, Declarer was missing. These, these clubs are not going anywhere, so I can just uh, exit the diamond. I don't need to... Oh, king-queen! Oh, so this was a... Uh... I wonder if I signaled something that I shouldn't have or... Uh, or something. And I need to play a low club, and um, because a uh, heart is a rough and slough, so and they got a trick. Uh, yeah, because of this uh, diamond thing. I don't know. Um, slightly risky. Uh, this low low diamond exit. Not sure. I could have obviously uh, taken that heart. But I wasn't sure yet if uh, it's it's a king jack guess or a queen jack guess. But queen jack is not a guess, obviously. Yeah, we should have discussed what we were playing against one no Trump. Pretty sure two clubs is uh, is uh, majors, and nowadays people play this multi landy, which I, I actually don't like that much. I prefer. Uh, just natural and two diamonds. I'm open to suggestions. Okay, so two spades, and now I can double this for a, a spade lead, which is kind of nice. 
didn't expect that at all. Uh, hopefully it doesn't... Uh... Okay, so my, my partner either took it seriously or he has a serious hand, but either way. Um, I obviously have <laughs> slightly less than expected. Uh, but, uh, I mean, if, if uh, let's say, Paul has something like a 10 count like I, I do with 4 card support, maybe I'm not that unhappy with uh, being in 3 spades. Okay, so... Well, we competed to the 3 level and pushed them to 4 clubs. That's, uh... Oh, by the way, our, our opponents, I didn't even check. Okay, uh, they're... Uh, Romanians, yes. Uh, I think I met him. Uh, oh, so that's actually a seven count. So just a quick count of the points. I had 10, 17, plus 15 is uh, 32. So um, Paul has six to eight points. Nothing in uh, nothing in uh, clubs. I guess he has the ace of diamonds, which means that uh, the ace of spades is probably okay. No. Okay, I can just show the the king queen, and I think. Uh, Uh, he asks, are these players man or something? Yeah, so Paul had two aces, so I mean, I, I think I, I, uh, I'm okay. Uh, I think I'm okay with his, uh, his bid. A little bit of shape. A little bit of everything. Okay, so I can open one spade. It's I'm allowed to do that. I have, I have again the 10 points. It's Matteo thinks, don't you see what defense he has? I don't know what he means. Actually, we we missed two hearts. Well, and and the, and the heart rough. So that's three three tricks, four five. Um, I'm not gonna compete more. The other table were in one one no trump only. Um, So I guess he means Paul playing the Ace of Diamonds, but I mean he can just finesse uh, against the Jack. Okay. I think I can just take this. Plays the eight, which shows an odd number, probably. So we, we need a bunch of uh, tricks here. Tricks we're unlikely to going to, to get. Maybe if uh, if I give the hand uh, in spades and he can play a club. Uh, although that's also not very convincing. Maybe there's a club gas is my uh, my hope, but wow. Well, just as pure passive defense will never get us uh, five tricks. 
It's one of these hands that you have to figure out if you want to pass or not. I, I don't like passing too much, but I'm not going to double with a with a singleton club. With four, four, three, two. So with the doubleton club and three, three low diamonds, I might be tempted to double. Although obviously this ace king king is not the uh, the ultimate hand for that. Okay, so this double probably shows something in hearts. I can bid hearts now. It could be this Snapdragon double, um, showing five hearts and a double to spade. So I might even uh, compete to three hearts if they if they're pushing me. Two no Trump. Wow. I have no idea what they're doing. That doesn't seem like a good uh, contract for them. Over three clubs, yes, it's uh, three hearts. So it's I I was tempted to be three hearts as well. And indeed, it's Snapdragon double. You can see we have loads of understanding here. Well, yeah, we've played on and off a few times, but... So we're gonna lose two diamonds, apparently, and uh, two diamonds and one or two hearts. But I need to rough some uh, some clubs in the meantime. But there's no reason not to play a heart early. At least no reason I can think of, and I think it shouldn't matter too much. Okay, so low to the 10, held. Um, okay. Ace of diamonds, club rough, ace king of spades. Yeah, it seems to be the best ch best chance. It's probably ace queen on on side, so I won't be able to uh, to pick up all the um, all the hearts anyway. If West wants to rough in and play ace queen of hearts. That's going to cost him a trump trick. Uh, whatever. That's a trick. Jack of Heart is a trick. Yeah, last three, three, four tricks I, I usually don't claim. Um, okay, six seems for us. Go, post hawk, ergo, propter hawk. Uh, clubs and actually this is one of these uh, auctions in which it's very nice to have a proper understanding 
because uh, just standard like two diamonds two hearts everything natural is uh, almost certainly uh, suboptimal there are very good uh, relay systems and all kinds of stuff uh, but well it's it seems that we're just gonna stay in 3 no Trump, although uh, I obviously have very good values here. Yeah. I wonder. Yeah, unfortunately I'm not even sure that we have a club fit, so he can have a 3 card suit. Often. I have 3 aces. Queen of Trumps, it's, it's a very nice hand, so... Uh, and uh, did we miss some kind of a slam here? I mean, you could try to play uh, six. Is it a good contract? Yeah, well, you would need to rough a, a diamond and do something with the hearts. It's one of these slams that you can either be in or not be in. No Trump, by the way, is uh, <laughs> well. It's quite, it's quite the contract. Um, I wonder, but okay. So the other, the other table was in uh, one no Trump. Yeah, they were they were shut out of the auction because uh, North didn't want to uh, bid one spade. And I'm not saying that one spade is the obviously best bid. It's just that. Surprisingly many times you get in tough spots. So so I mean making an overcall serves two main purposes. One is to, to tell your partner that you have a suit, which is what well, kind of the more more obvious purpose. But you also like encourage your partner to uh, to compete. So it's kind of like when you open one club in a standard it's not just to tell your partner that hey I have a club suit it's also hey look uh, often I have this kind of balanced hand and you're welcome to bid whatever you want to bid we're safe I opened so it's a little bit the same uh, with competitive bidding at least uh, the way I see it like this one spade I just told my partner hey look I kind of have a spade suit I kind of have some points uh, like, Paul would obviously not compete with this hand. And knowing that I, I overcalled uh, uh, one spade, now he had, he had this kind of a double shot, this double, where he could show the hard suit and some uh, secondary uh, uh, spade support, so spade tolerance, or whatever you want to call it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I, I count. I count nine tricks. Uh, so that's always good. Ten tricks if clubs break. And there might be a squeeze somewhere, but uh, don't ask me. Okay, clubs broke already because the ten of clubs has appeared. I think there might be a squeeze, but uh, uh, I don't know how, because there is no communication. Well, the Ten of Clubs has not appeared yet, but... And you can see that actually East showed... Uh, uh, East had... Uh, had the guards in both hearts and spades, but uh, the um, East had guards in both uh, hearts and spades, but it still uh, didn't suffice for a uh, for a squeeze. Like you need this uh, famous. Oh, there's an acronym for that. I think it's blue, but I don't remember what each of the those uh, numbers. Is it blue? Yeah, blue. Yeah, and and then 
L stands for loser, E stands for entries, no idea, entries, uh, entries is what I wanted to say, so you need at least one of these, uh, um, huh. anyway, at least uh, at least one of the, one of the uh, the menaces that you have so one of these uh, suits that you almost have a, a winner in uh, one of the, these needs to be an entry so there must be an entry in that suit but Uh, yeah, they're they're gonna play a game here, I guess. Or it's, well, apparently not. And it's one of these hands in which I think a trump, one of these auctions that kind of calls for a, a trump lead because often, yeah, like dummy can rough some spades sometimes or sometimes hearts. It's a good question actually, what you would rebid with uh, with these hands. Oh, Paul has ace jack of hearts. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah. So the declarer has ace. Uh, declarer has uh, five four in hearts and spades. Well, spades and hearts. But unfortunately, yeah, we need to play on spades. That's that's, that's the funny part. It's it's like declarer's main uh, main suit, but uh, this is what we need to play on. I might be able to do huh. if I win this take the king of hearts and play ace of clubs and another dummies diamonds might be shut out but the, 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 the problem is they're not really shut out you can just play ace king queen So far, Declarer hasn't shown up with any any single point, so that's something to keep in consideration. I don't think he has Ace King Jack of that of spades, but I think with Ace King Jack of spades and nothing else, he would have uh, accepted this invitation. Yeah. By the way, just. Um, as a side note, many people play one diamond, two spades, or two hearts to be this reverse Flannery convention, which shows five spades and uh, four hearts. And uh, two hearts is usually the weak variation, and two spades the strong variation. Um, actually, um, Adam Meyerson in the forum said that uh, these um, these ranges are somehow ill-defined because uh, sometimes you become invitational in the middle of the auction. But I'm not sure uh, I really understand that. So so that would mean that, for example, this this sequence here could be played as uh, like very strong or um, maybe even game forcing to one spade and two hearts alternatively it could be played as artificial which is something Helen and I play so one diamond one spade two diamonds two hearts is a transfer to two spades opener must accept unless he has some very weird hand but normally an opener has to accept and then you can either pass it in two spades or bid something else that would be uh, game forcing, which means that anything you bid instead of uh, other other than two hearts will be a uh, um, anything other than two hearts will be just invitational. So, for example, two spades will be invitational, two no trump will be invitational, three diamonds invitational, and so on. Even three clubs you can play this non-forcing with uh, six clubs and four spades
<sighs> yeah, I wonder, maybe I could uh, just pause this until he comes back because uh, I can wait, but you know, my time is not as valuable as your time. Yeah, I'm gonna pause this and uh, see what's up. Hey everyone, welcome back. Actually, uh, we replaced uh, um, ex Mateo. Uh, I asked Dummy and he said he's fine with uh, any substitute, so I, there were a bunch of substitutes already listed. And um, Paul very helpfully uh, told him what, what the first few tricks were. Now I think, so this low club would kind of mean that, uh, yeah, then again, we are in three hearts. Yeah, maybe I can play it, just like Ace of Clubs, Club Rough. Apparently, uh, okay, so Ace of Clubs, Club Rough. And now declare has to guess maybe. So he does seem to have ace king of spades. Because otherwise, what what kind of uh, response does he have? Yeah, he has to get rid of clubs as well. So then he has to guess uh, whether or not to finesse spades. Well, I guess he will finance. What else can he do? Queen of Clubs, this won't hold anymore, but... So another uh, six hymns uh, for us. The three hard bid was uh, the culprit, but... Yeah, no, I'm not gonna psych. Two diamonds is an alternative, but not uh, red against red. Yeah, Diana bid one no Trump. Yeah, I, 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 uh, I was talking about this for a while. I started talking about it, but I forgot to conclude my thoughts. I was gonna say. Um. It's one no trump rebid or two diamond rebid. I don't really like them. Uh, this is really one of the opportunities. Uh, oh, this is a pass. I don't care. I have way too, way too weak and my partner is a passed hand. So it could very well be that they're, um, they're missing a game. What? <laughs> okay, so this is why uh, <laughs> when I started this... Uh, this team match, I asked for uh, regular partners. I, I thought it would be a little bit more serious. Uh, I didn't talk about the other table yet. So that's Diana and uh, uh, Diana and yeah, Weinberg. This David Weinberg, I think. This is his last name. Yeah. No reason to throw the king. I think. Paul through the the jack from uh, Jack Third. Yeah, they're gonna make a bunch of tricks here. Okay, thirteen. Okay, so I, I was <laughs> I was saying several things at the same time. Ah, uh, uh, why not? Last board I can double. Um, so four hearts plus three, but so I several I was saying several things at the same time. Uh, I said uh, mm -hmm. double four hearts four spades. Okay, I don't mind. Um, five hearts, okay. I don't think we're gonna make this, but I, I, I don't know how many hearts Paul has, so he might have like six or seven.
<coughs> it doesn't see anything for spades, although it depends a bit on hearts. So we probably take like one heart. It depends on it depends on a lot of stuff. So we we probably take three aces, and then either the queen of clubs or the king of spades should should be another trick. So we were probably beating uh, four hearts, uh, four spades, and yeah, like, like low heart to the ace, intending to finesse on the way back is probably what Paul was thinking about. Yeah, he puts uh, West to the test, but uh, so so the king of uh, king of spades was a trick. Obviously, Paul doesn't know, so I I I, I think I agree with his five hard bid. Um, okay, that that gives us a, a club discard. And it's still gonna be down one at least. Yeah, I mean, come on, down one is not a, not a bad thing. Mm. We don't have enough entries to rough out the king of uh, uh, king of clubs. So yeah, I don't think it's a bad score. It shouldn't be a very bad score anyway. Anyway, it could have been down two, I think. Four spades down four. Okay. Wow. Yeah, it's interesting. This three spade bid. Nobody really knew what it was. So. So yeah. Anyway, so we w we won by fifteen imps. Um. Yeah, I was saying several things. One thing I was saying is that uh, when I make these random team matches, I'm trying to ask for uh, regular partners. Asking for asking them to um, because I, I kind of assume that um, they're a little bit more serious because I mean this pass of uh, of one heart was not exactly a serious bid by Mr. Dude, expert from the Netherlands, but I'm not a hundred percent sure what his expertise is in. I don't want to shame people, but. Uh, yeah, passing with a seven points and uh, three card support is not really something an expert would do. I'm not saying I'm an expert, but I think I'm an expert in in uh, excluding people from expert uh, category. So I don't know. Um, one heart plus six. It's kind of funny, but you know. yeah. Another thing I was saying is. Um, Oh, just just to finish on this board seven, one spade from south. Yeah, I would have bid one spade, which will not surprise you. But uh, I think I uh, well, I didn't do that. No, I, I uh, it's not mandatory, but yeah, why not? Obviously, actually, if I if he does bid uh, one spade, like in the other table, West will probably find uh, a two hard bid somehow. Okay, what else was there? I was saying... Um, yeah, I was gonna gonna say about this hand. North open 1-0 no Trump. Well, these were our, our uh, opposite pair. Where were they from? Australia, okay. Peter and... Oh, Peter from Australia and Andrzej from Poland. They they sign up together. So uh, Diana bid two spades, which is a little bit frisky, but you know, white against red. Probably it's okay. I was thinking for a second if South would have doubled, that would have been uh, quite juicy for for North to run, and and West uh, probably doesn't uh, know to. To run to three diamonds, which is obviously also a very bad contract. Um, and finally, about this hand, I, I was talking about um, talking about uh, uh, like a two spade bid. 
Yeah, like, like, so, so from East, I would probably be two spades even if we don't have the agreement to raise on three cards because the, the, the other uh, alternatives are really just so bad. Like, like one no Trump I don't like with this Singleton Club. And uh, two diamonds, even though you have nice diamonds, it's it's not perfect either. Um, also, I was thinking for a second, for split second, I was thinking of uh, doubling from north, but I... Yeah, that's... Th I mean, in this case, it would have helped us find uh, a club fit, but um, it's not really guaranteed to work. It, it's kind of semi-common to double on four hearts and three clubs, but not the other way around. Three hearts and four clubs. And for good reason, obviously. So, um, because you're, you're essentially just making... Um, it's a little bit the same as uh, one diamond and one spade double. Not one diamond pass, one spade double. So, yeah. I didn't du didn't double. I I, uh, I can't say I regret it or anything. And Paul was obviously too weak to be two clubs or or uh, either first or second. Uh, oh, the second turn in our table was uh, already with two diamonds. Yeah. And finally, I said that um, Wes would probably accept the invitation with Ace King Jack. He didn't, so I was wrong about that. Um, yeah, I think I, yeah, I don't, uh, I would have accepted with West, but I would not have invited as East, for what that's worth. I think he should have at least another, at least, let's say, the king of, uh, the queen of, uh, spades for such an invitation. But it's all a little bit moot because uh, three, four, five, one should not be one of the shapes in two diamonds. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoy this and uh, see you around.